This is the solution to one of the example problems. Two moles of a gas in a is in a container when it expands. As it expands, the state of the gas changes and follows the path shown below. Question number one was to find the internal energy for the initial state. So if I look at this, this is a PV diagram. And on the left, I have kilopascals. So that's not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. And the volume is measured in meters cubed. OK, let's get to the question. So i got to find the initial state. So the initial state is here. That's where I start. You can see I've got the black line that shows the progress. And so it starts in the lower left and goes to the upper right. So that's what makes that the initial state. If I look at the initial state, I can determine some givens from the diagram itself. So I know the pressure I can be read from the vertical axis, and that's 2,000 pascals. The volume can be read from the horizontal axis, that's 4 meters cubed. And the problem tells me it's 2 moles in the thing, in the container. So the internal energy is 3 halves nRT, or 3 halves nKBT. The nKBT doesn't do me a lot of good, but the nRT does. Because I know the ideal gas law says that PV equals nRT. So I can replace PV for nRT. So the internal energy is 3 halves PV. Now that's very doable. 3 halves, 2,000 pascals times 4 meters cubed. So I can find the internal energy from any state on here by looking at this as 3 halves and then replacing nRT with PV to figure out my values. And this gives me 12,000 joules for the internal, internal energy. Let's look at question number two. Number two says to calculate the work done by the gas as the gas moves from the initial state to the final state. All right, so the final state, if the initial state's in the lower left, and that's where the arrow starts, the final state is in the upper right-hand corner. So the work is defined as the area under the curve. So that's this region here in yellow. So when I look at this, you can solve this as a rectangle or a triangle, but what I see is a trapezoid. So the area of the trapezoid is the average of the basis times the height, except this trapezoid is turned 90 degrees, so it's sitting on its side. That means that this is B1, this is B2, and the height is actually sideways in this trapezoid. So that's kind of nice, a little bit less to work with. So the area is the work under the curve, and that's the work done by the gas, not the surroundings, but by the gas. So the work done by the gas is the area under the curve. So the work done by the gas is base 1 plus base 2, that's 2,000 plus 4,000 divided by 2, times the height, which is 8 minus 4 meters cubed. And that means that the work done by the gas is a positive 16,000 joules. Question 3 asks to find the work done by the surroundings as the gas moves from the initial state to the final state. So what I know is that the work done by the gas is equal to the negative or the opposite of the work done by the surroundings. So they're opposites. So that's easy. That means that the work done by the surroundings is negative 16,000 joules.